Welcome to Bikes and Baskets. We learned about the bike in the previous session. The bike is easy. We're now moving on to baskets, which are equally easy. Once you see how baskets work, you'll improve your punctuation and your sentence structure. When teachers and writers talk about writing with sentence variety, they are talking about using baskets. And one more thing. If you've been told that you write fragments, knowing about baskets will help solve the problem. Most fragments are just connected baskets. So, here we go. On to bikes and baskets. Bikes and baskets are explained in an easy guide to writing. We'll be summarizing some of the information found in that textbook. As we learned in session one, a sentence needs two wheels. The front wheel is the subject, telling us who or what. The back wheel is the predicate, telling us what about it. These two wheels connect to form a stable structure. You can see that right there. Remember, don't put a comma between the two wheels. They need to connect directly. Let's look at some sentences and look at the wheels in the sentence, the who or what and the what about it. The morning fog slowly evaporated. Who or what? The morning fog. And what about it? Slowly evaporated. We have a sentence. My determination to succeed has carried me through tough situations. Who or what? My determination to succeed. What about it? Has carried me through tough situations. The new restaurant on Oak Street features musicians on weekends. Who or what? The new restaurant on Oak Street. And what about that restaurant? Features musicians on weekends. And the last one. The aroma of freshly baked bread hangs in the air. Who or what? The aroma of freshly baked bread. And what about it? Hangs in the air. Notice that there's no comma between those two wheels. The morning fog slowly evaporated. There's no comma there, nor on any of these. There's no comma there. Putting a comma between the two wheels is a common mistake. Some people put the comma in there because that's where we would pause when speaking. But that's a mistake. Don't put a comma there. The wheels need to connect directly. We'll see why that's important in a minute. There's our stable bike. And once we have a stable bike, we can add baskets to it. We can add baskets to the front. We can add baskets to the middle. And we can add baskets on the back. There are different kinds of baskets. The most popular ones are called dependent clauses, and they begin with dependent words, which are really basket words. Take a look at those uh, dependent words, those basket words in green. And, and I'll stop talking for a second. These are powerful words. If you put one of them in front of a sentence, you no longer have a sentence. You'll have a basket. Watch. Here are those words, and here's a sentence. They finished dinner. Who or what? They. What about them? Finished dinner. We have a sentence. Now, if I put, or you put, anybody puts any of these basket words after they finished dinner, that's no longer a sentence. Well, what happened after they finished dinner? Or although they finished dinner, or as soon as they finished dinner, because they finished dinner, before they finished dinner, even though they finished dinner, if they finished dinner, since they finished dinner, until they finished dinner, when they finished dinner, while they, I mean, take any of these words and put them in front of a sentence. And these dependent words, these basket words, will turn the sentence into a basket. Here are three baskets. These are not sentences because they begin with a basket word. These baskets are fragments, and they need to be attached to a bike. So, let's add a bike. Um, after they finished dinner, they took a long walk. This is going to be messy, but that's okay. If we want to see the choir, uh, we need to sit near the stage. When the music began, everyone started to dance. Everybody 
Luan started to dance. We're adding two wheels. Because I left early, I missed rush hour traffic. Notice that I'm putting a comma after each basket. The readers need to know when the basket is over and the two wheels begin. The comma is important. It shows them, it's the clue, it's the sign. The basket's over and the two wheels are beginning. Here those sentences are written so you can read them. Here's the basket after they finish dinner. And here's the two wheels. Who are what? They. What about it? Took a long walk. We want to see a choir. We. What about it? Need to sit near the stage. When the music began, basket. Everyone started to dance. Who are what? Everyone. What about them? Started to dance. Because I left early. And here's the two wheels. I missed rush hour traffic. Now what's so cool about these baskets is that we can flip these baskets, these dependent word baskets, to the back of the bike too. They took a long, this would become a capital, and it would say they took a long walk after they finished dinner. I can take this one, flip it to the back. We need to sit near the stage if we want to see the choir. Take this basket, flip it to the back of the bike. Everyone started to dance when the music began. And the last one, flip it to the back. I missed rush hour traffic because I left early. Notice that there's, well, let's just read them. There you go. Uh, notice that there's, um, here's the, the two wheels, and here's the basket. Two wheels, and here's the basket. Two wheels, basket. Two wheels, basket. There's no comma when it's coming after uh, the two wheels. Uh, the comma is optional, and it's most often not used because the reader already knows the who or what and the what about it. They already have the meat of the sentence, and so they don't need a sign with these baskets um, that the sentence is over and the basket begins because they've got the meat of the sentence, and they won't get confused. Review. Baskets are not sentences. They need to be attached to a bike. You can put baskets on the front, in the middle, or on the back. We've looked here in this session at baskets on the front and the back. We'll look at baskets in the middle in session three, which is called Bikes and More Baskets. And one more week, we quit. Reminder, when a basket is on the front, you need to mark it with a comma. Here are two sentences that really show that. If you'll cook Pat, well, huh? If you'll cook Pat, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense because we'll do the shopping. And here's what happened. The writer didn't put the comma in. If you'll cook, that's the basket, Pat will do the shopping. Ah, now I get it. Because Rob usually runs five miles is, huh? What happens is be, uh, the comma. Because Rob usually runs five miles, it's an easy workout. So notice how important it is to put a comma to tell readers, uh, starting with the basket, and the basket's over, and here comes the who or what, and what about it. Well, that's it for baskets. Enjoy the ride.